Our next panelist is Gay Warren Gaddis. She is the CEO of a company called T3, or the Think Tank. It is the largest advertising agency wholly owned by a woman. So Gay, tell us where you're from, where have you been? <laughs> tell us a little bit about your beginnings. Well, it reminds me of a song, it's not the miles you've traveled, but the stops you've made. So, um, <laughs> we uh, want to know the stops. Okay, I was born in Houston, but quickly was moved to a little town called Liberty, Texas, and it's uh, 45 miles northeast of Houston. And it turned out to be a good thing that my parents moved me there because we were kind of insulated in a lot of ways, and, and I was free to ride my bicycle around and go do things on my own and had a lot of independence and freedom as a little child. Liberty was bigger? Liberty was only 8,000 people, <laughs> tiny. But um, my father died when I was 13. And um, it was a great place for us to be, for my mother and me. I'm an only child. And uh, all the neighbors and all the people just kind of surrounded us with love. And it really was a good place to be at the time. And uh, I helped her actually sell his business and, and started to work when I was 13 at a jewelry store. And so, so your father's death, do you think, uh, started your business energies because you had to step up to it? I really do. I think, you know, sometimes I say his death was a gift to me in a very sad and strange way, but it, it gave me a lot of real, you know, dogged determination to get my finances in order and to learn how to manage things. So, um, did you go to college? What was your major if you did? I went to the University of Texas, and uh, I have uh, no horns, <laughs> horns up. Um, but uh, yes, went to UT, and I was allowed by my mother to do whatever I wanted. So I ended up with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Studio Art, and I had planned to go just into the art program. But then I found out that if I took went total BFA, I didn't have to take any math classes. Can you? <laughs> And so I substituted <laughs> French instead. You know. So um, what was your first job after college? First job was in an advertising agency. It's now ah. the largest privately held advertising agency in the United States. It was in Dallas. And my professors were very upset with me that I didn't go to New York. Um, but I ended up taking a job in Dallas, and I was the second woman ever hired at this agency. And uh, it was very chauvinistic. It was really a tough job. I was a copywriter and designer, and I, but I learned a lot about myself in this job. And I learned that that's not really the path I should take. And I really wanted to be more on the account service side or more on the management side of things instead of the creator person. But I always loved uh, working with creative people and kind of bringing all that together. You have a family? Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, I have uh, three children, 27, 24, 23, and <laughs> <laughs> so it was busy. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> it, was a, it was busy times, and uh, you know, when I started my company in 89, they were all little children, and uh, it was pretty, pretty challenging times. Well, what, what drove you to do that? I mean, um, there are many women entrepreneurs, but it takes enormous courage to decide, well, I'm just going to start my own business. Mm -hmm. Where did that come from? Well, some people start a business because they have a dream, or a lot of women do for personal freedom, or to make more money, or to have a little bit more of a flexible lifestyle. And I started my business because I was pissed off. <laughs> I got really <laughs> mad at the man. Uh, I, it was the late 80s in Texas, and the SNLs had failed. The, the stock market was everything was down, and so I was involved in another company. We had to lay off about 70 people. It was a really dark, dark oh. time, and, uh, and I was known as the hangman. So it was a, I had a great reputation because I had to fire so many people. Um, but what made of, you mad? Well, what made me mad is that uh, after all this, I said we have to re completely re-energize this company. We have to come up with a new strategy, a new way to get through these times. So I worked with some of the colleagues in the company and wrote a business plan on how we were going to get to the next step and how we were going to, the vision really for the company. And I presented it to our advisory board. Everyone was excited. Everyone was ready to go. And the next day, the president of the company came in and he said, you know, Gay, I've been thinking about this and I'm not going to support your plan. Well, I was furious. I was livid. I was hurt. I was mad. I was, you know, really d disappointed. And so I sat in my office and just sh was shaking. I just fumed for like 45 minutes. And I got up and out of rage, basically walked down to his office and said, well, if I'm not going to do it here, I'm going to do it someplace else. And so I went to my IRA, cashed it in $16,000. And that's how I started the business. Wow. Well, <laughs> thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you, gang.